All right, so welcome everyone. My name is Rajneesh Gupta. I'm the VC so and security consultant. I also help the security professionals and freshers to excel in the cybersecurity career. With me, I have Jamin Patak, and this is the mock interview series videos for SOC analyst and security analyst. Okay, so without taking much time, let's get started. But wait, wait, wait. Before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you are an existing subscriber. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, Jamin, how are you? I'm good, Rajesh. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you so much for having me here. You're welcome. So, Rajesh, uh, today we are going to have questions on false negative and false positive. Okay. So, my first question is Can you explain the concept of false negative and false positive? Sure, absolutely. So, Jamin, what happened is uh, a false and negative is a situation when the security tools or the security solutions that we have, like SIM solution, EDR, they fail to detect the genuine or the uh, actual security threats. Okay. This could lead to a problem in the entire organization as well. Uh, on the other hand, when we talk about this false positive, it occurs when the security tool generates kind of a you know uh, alerts that are not actually malicious maybe a fake alerts right so mm -hmm. false false positive is a problem false negative is also a problem but if you you know look at if you compare both of them i think false negative is very very you know uh, uh challenging situation because if you fail to detect genuine alerts it can hamper the network so that's but if you look at the false positive most of the time the security professional or SOC analyst end up spending a lot of time in false positive as per i, I have read some research probably around 80 to 80 80, 80 to 82 percent of the time SOC analyst had to spend on false positive alerts and that's a very large number so uh, so that's the situation. That's the difference between false positive and false negative. Yeah. Okay. So Rajneesh, uh, when you say the false negatives are having a great challenge, how you can minimize that? Well, I mean, as as we uh, as we learn about it, false negative is is a, is a situation where we. Uh, you know where we where our system where our software solutions like sim or uh, maybe edr fail to detect genuine alerts okay so only way to improve it either to you know uh, improve the capability improve the detection of the software like let's say if we don't have a sim solution we should have a sim solution right maybe uh, or maybe our sim is not having a lot of uh, refined or advanced security rules we should invest in uh, we should invest our time in uh, refining our security rule correlation tool updating the signatures let's say we don't uh, we don't have the ips ids ip ids solutions or detection solutions so because of that we might not be able to detect some genuine threats right genuine alerts so we should invest in solution like ideas like checkpoint ideas or maybe open source uh uh solution like surikata or snot ideas as well so this can improve uh or this can improve our security detection and bring down the false negative in the network additionally the better way to improve or uh, to minimize the secure false negative in the network is to uh, to work on threat intelligence feeds we should develop our own threat intelligence feeds or we can conduct the risk assessment of our network for detection capability uh, to identify any blind spot in the network that will enhance the detection capability at the end. So these are some of the things which we could really look at, yeah. Okay, so on the other hand, false positive. Uh -huh. How we are going to handle false, posit false positive alerts which are generated by security tools? Yes, absolutely. So false positive is, is something which can be, uh, you know, uh, and of course, this this act, this is where security engineers end up spending a lot of time. 
so the, the real problem is we get the alert saying that okay the system has been compromised or there is a brute force attempt or there is an unauthorized access on the machine the, it becomes a false positive when it is a genuine alert by genuine employees in the network right so they might have attempted maybe three four times uh, because they might have forgot the password right so that could become a false positive situation so only way to deal with it is is to have a better response time or to build an automation or maybe to utilize solutions like soar security operation and security orchestration and automation tool where we can actually you know create a lot of uh, playbooks to uh, to automate multiple recurring tasks which security analysts have to do it right so this can actually save a lot of time and um, for for from the false positive but to to bring it down to bring down the false positive there is a different approach we need to work on we really have to work on correlation too okay that's the one thing uh, uh, we really have to develop an advanced correlation tool for this we have to try and test multiple attempt and um, if the alert is confirmed that false positive we can document it find perform findings update the detection rules so that in the future we should not have similar false positive in the network so to deal with the uh, false positive uh you know we have to work on better or we have to work on better detection capability we have to work on better correlation rule on sim solutions or edr solutions but to to manage or to handle the false false positive i think we really have to work on a security automation tool like soar which can actually uh, automate all those recurring activities so that we can save time for our sock analysis and you know um, overcome challenges like alert fatigue as well so yeah that that's a way to deal with false uh, positive yeah okay perfect so that's this yeah uh, this is all i have for today thank you sure sure thank you so much jane all right so thank you so much everyone this was our uh, mock interview session um, let me know how did you like it and if you have any question let us know in the comment section below this is me rashmi gupta with jamin patak bye for now